Hey guys, happy ass 007 here back with another video and um, this is a pickups video and uh, excuse me, I think it's episode 77-ish again it'll be in the title, I'm fucking useless with the numbers, I apologise I uh, hope everyone's well uh, yeah, I hope you're good um, had a busy weekend this week, I went up to watch England uh, beat France in the rugby unfortunately it wasn't quite enough points uh, it's a hell of a game one of the best games of rugby I've ever seen probably the best game of rugby I've ever seen hence my uh, lovely new hat I had a wicked time, I had lots of beer I had a good laugh with a couple of pals that I went with and yeah that's what I was doing so um, we finished above the Welsh which was a plus and a well done to Ireland, I'm sure Danny you're very happy mate well deserved I have to say, very good side the Irish but uh, yeah that's enough for the rugby um, I've got um, a gift off of my favourite Welshman very unexpected and very nice of him and it's very cool stuff um, I've got something I think a lot of people have picked up and um, a type of game that I don't really find normally and I've found lots of them it'll make sense in a minute uh, yeah I've found some awesome stuff locally actually so um, I'll show you the gift I got off um, my favourite Welshman in case you don't know who I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, Steve36207 absolute top tuber um, if you haven't go and check him out I'm sure 90% of you know who he is but uh, if you don't then go and say hello he's an absolute top fellow indeed uh, he sent me a little note. Uh, Alright buddy, here's the game, just, here's the game as promised, uh, plus some Brucey's for you. Hopefully you will love uh, as much as I do. Hopefully you can read this, your favourite Welshman Steve. PS 3-0, ha 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 ha. Uh, Steve is a Man United fan and I'm a Tottenham fan and he's obviously talking about the game that was last week. There we go. You should have been a doctor mate. Looks like the prescriptions you get. Yeah, I'll let you have. I'll let you have that one, mate. We'll, we'll fucking have you next time. Don't worry about that. Anyway, Steve sent me. Uh, he, he messaged me the other day. And um, and said, um, "Have you got this game?" And I said, "Oh no, I haven't, mate." And he said, "Right, well, I'll pop it in the post." So that was awesome. I said, "Thank you very much, mate." And that game was uh, Dead Space Three. Oh, well, lovely and complete with the uh, stupid piece of paper that EA think is a manual that's, uh, that's another story so yeah, another one to the PS3 collection but he also sent me some Mega Drive goodness he sent me Daffy Duck in Hollywood he sent me the absolute classic Cool Spot and he sent me Mega Games 2 which has got the Revenge of Shinobi, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe which is so cool mate I'm so fucking chuffed with this, honest to god I'm sure I banged on about Golden Axe before, I used to play the um, arcade cab in my dad's local pub so many good memories of that game Streets of Rage is an absolute classic the Revenge of Shinobi I don't think I've actually played to be fair so um, I might stick it in the Mega Drive in a minute and have a play mate so thanks Steve, honestly mate thank you very much, you didn't need to do that buddy I really do appreciate it though some awesome games for my Mega Drive collection. Really appreciate that, mate. You're a diamond, buddy. So that's Steve. Um, next, I picked up, as a lot of people, I think, Mario Party 10. Now, I chose the special limited edition, whatever you want to call it. I absolutely love, love, love these uh, Wii U limited edition boxes. I like the fact that the graphics are beautiful as... Um, I mean the top of it is really cool I like the fact that they're all the same size uh, this also comes with the Mario Amiibo uh, the Super Mario series which is beautiful as well uh, now as you know I've been opening all my Amiibos but um, this one is going to stay sealed because the Smash Brothers one that came in that box, is, you know, the special edition, is also sealed I've since bought a loose Mario to open for the shelf and I'll be doing the same with this I think. I wasn't planning on picking these up but having seen this one 
and um, having seen Danny, I, can, I suppose I'm calling you my favourite Irishman now, mate. So I've got a favourite Welshman and a favourite Irishman. Danny picked up uh, four of these, I think, and um, and it was 35 quid as well. I mean, the game is 30 quid, so I mean, if you wanted to, it's worth picking up the special edition and selling this if you weren't interested in the Amiibos. You probably get 15 quid for this, which would then make the game brand new for 20. You know. But anyway, yeah, and, and obviously the game. Uh, as I say, I've been away with the, watching the rugby, so I haven't had time to crack this on yet. But obviously, you know, it's all new. I haven't redeemed the points yet or anything. Actually, I've got to have a look on Nintendo because the points are going to run out soon, aren't they? Anyway, that is that. I'm very happy with that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'd love to get the two Zelda collector's editions. But yeah. Um, okay, next. What are we now? We're on. We're Monday now. This was last Thursday or Friday. On oh, my local items for sale. I cannot believe I saw these. These had been up for 24 hours. Nobody was interested. So I commented. I just messaged the girl. On, I said, um, I don't suppose you've still got games, have you? And um, she said, Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, um, can I have them please? And she said, um, yeah, yeah, sure, I'm in South Moulton, which is about 20 minutes away from me. And I was thinking, fuck, because I don't drive. I was thinking, shit, am I going to get them? Then she messaged me back and said, oh, I can deliver them tonight if you want. So I was like, oh, yes, yes, that'd be great. Thank you very much. And she didn't want any money for delivering them. Uh, these were £5 each. And uh, they all save, which is obviously a bit of a clue to what they are. But for five pounds each, in excellent condition, I got uh, Pokemon Yellow. I got Blue. I got Red. And I got Crystal. Now normally, I wouldn't keep loose carts. God, I take my hat off, I'm fucking boiling. I'm showing my bald head. There you go. Um, yeah, normally I wouldn't keep loose carts. But as these are in such good nick, I, I'm going to keep them, I think. Um, I'm going to try and pick up the boxes and manuals as and when. I'm in no rush. But um, I thought they're that good nick, I can't bring myself to sell them on. So, um, yeah, don't normally find Pokemon games but obviously found those and today I've just been into the next town over it was, I could not believe this um, and a bit of a story behind this deal um, originally saw uh, it was a Game Boy Advance with some games and um, wasn't interested in the Game Boy Advance really because it was a bit rough but there's some decent games and um, he wanted 25 quid for everything and I said, well, would you take 15 for these games? And he said, oh, yeah, that's cool. And um, we sorted all that out, you know, blah, blah, blah. Went back and forth, all fine. A few minutes later, somebody else messaged him and said, um, have you still got these games? And um, he said, oh, no, no, sorry, they're sold. But I got these. And um, these were two box games, and I nearly shit myself. Um, so I messaged him as quick as I could and said, um, Oh, I'd be interested in buying the lot off you. And he said, okay, yeah, cool. Um, call it 30 quid for everything. And then this other dickhead that was messaging him said, oh, well, that one goes for 30 or 40 quid on its own on eBay. So I thought, oh, here we go. So mate, he messaged me back and said, um, oh, I'm just going to check eBay a minute. So I was like, oh, great. So I wasn't rude to him. My rule is I'm never rude to people. I said, oh, okay, fair enough. Not too hopeful of actually getting this stuff. Um, but he, then he came back to me and said, well, you know, I, I can't let it go for that. It goes for this, this and this on eBay. And then I kind of said, look, I, I don't really go by eBay. Um, you know, don't forget you've got to pay uh, charges, uh, percentage, you know, on, on all that. You've got to pay postage, blah, 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 blah. And then he kind of said, well, yeah, you're right, actually, yeah. Um, so with a bit of back and forth, to and fro, and we agreed on 40 quid for everything I'm going to show you, which... Um, don't get me wrong, I've paid for it, but it's still a great deal, I think. So, um, sorry, that was a bit long-winded, but I thought I'd fill you in the backstory. So for 40 quid, I got um, a working, pretty rough, pretty rough, 
tribal SP, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, it does work. The screen's actually not too bad. There's nothing. This is going to be another project, I think. I've got a few of these kicking around now that I want to get. Um, I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to get the new uh, covers for. So I'm trying to say, and that came with, which every Game Boy Advance bundle I seem to get comes with, uh, Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem. See that one, and it came with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Jew Academy. Oh, sorry, I've got my glasses on, so I can't really see that too good. Uh, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, this could be worth a couple of quid. I don't know. Probably not. I, I have no idea. Um, but the games I was interested in were, and as I said, I don't find Pokemon stuff normally, but a pretty rough copy of Yellow. Uh, I haven't cleaned these up. I've literally just come back with them. The back, is, you know, it's pretty rough. Uh, a slightly better condition blue that might come up alright well, so obviously selling them on as I've just picked up the others and it came with sapphire and these are genuine as well which is awesome and fire red so again I'm probably going to keep these two so I don't really come across them that often it has an official charger and the two boxed ones um, that that is pretty rough you know all those games pretty rough and <laughs> I saw these the first one is Advance Wars 2 and hopefully the camera will pick up the condition of these these are absolutely beautiful condition uh, I'll show you the insides I think this game could go for I mean, Dave Clark, I know Dave Clark's a fan of these, I'm Gingy. I think I've got the baggy in here, for God's sake. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to get everything out of here to show you. I'll get that in a minute. It's got the baggy for the game in there. And uh, there's the game itself, which is in Great Nick. We've got um, a poster, which looks absolutely mint as well. Uh, we've got the precautions thing for the GBA and an absolutely mint manual look at that, not a crease there I mean, I, it beggars belief how you can have such shitty games like that and then have these, that, which are mint and yeah, that's awesome in itself so I'm keeping that one and this one, oh, so happy to find this Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, which includes Four Swords for the GBA in absolutely beautiful condition. I mean, there's the odd, tiny, tiny sort of bend or whatever you want to call it, but you're not going to get in a, a, be a, a lot better condition than this unless you pay a hell of a lot of money. And I mean, I, I had a quick look, and this game is going between 30 and 40 quid in this condition. And so to find it, when I've sold off the rest of the stuff, well, from between a five and ten pound, I think I'll end up paying for it, which is um, mental. The car is still in its baggy, absolutely mint. We've got a poster by the looks of it, again mint, and we've got this massively thick manual mint. So, 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 so happy with this. Um, yeah, I mean, I was talking to um, I was talking to uh, Irish Danny last night, just uh, about games and stuff, as we always do. And I was just kind of saying to him, like, you know, I show you guys the stuff I pick up, and you, you know, some people might think, oh, you fucking jammy bastard, you're always finding good stuff, which is true. I, I'm very, I'm really lucky with the stuff I find, but I put a hell of a lot of uh, time and effort into the stuff I do find. You know, for every deal I show you, there's probably five or six deals that I don't get or you know don't come off for one reason or another yeah like I said there's there's definitely an element of luck you know to this stuff like you know like the box games they come up in a little message after you advertise other stuff so I, I suppose you know some of it is being in the right place at the right time and all that jazz but um, yeah I, I spend hours trawling through you know various sites and 
you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not moaning, I'm just saying, you know, it doesn't just happen, you know, just like that. Lots of time and effort goes into these things and um, sometimes like that it pays off. So, very, very happy to be able to put that in my collection for, you know, next to nothing really. And Advance Wars as well, as I said, Dave Clark's told me it's a great game. And now I've got one, I'll be keeping hold of it and playing it. So, really, really happy with that. Um, I've probably waffled on for far too long. But, um... Thanks ever so much for watching, and um, I'll see you all again very soon. Peace.